back to the channel today we're continuing our mafia journey now we just went through some hectic shit last episode and now we are on to the next part we came home razzle dazzled all like it were in shock and i guess lucky to be alive and sarah saw that and we asked her to marry us so let's see where it goes from there Hey, boss. I came as soon as I got your message. Sit down, Tom. We have a mole, Tom. No. Who? Oh. I was up all night driving myself nuts trying to figure it out. I started thinking maybe it's one of our guys. We aren't paying his fair share. Someone with a light wallet. Maybe looking to Morello for a new suit. Frank wasn't around, so I went to the safe to get the account books. To see who's getting cents on the dollar he's earned. What do you know? The books are gone, Tom. Frank. <sighs> More than 50 years I've known him. Everything I have, I got with Frank. And every buck we've earned, every dime we've paid out, it's all logged in those books. Frank hands those over to the feds, we're finished. Frank respects one person in this whole town, and that's you. This has got to be some kind of misunderstanding. I've been calling him all day. I went by his place. He's gone. His wife and kid are gone. Why? I don't know. I'm sure he has his reasons. Maybe he's still smarting over the dog. But when you tried to drown? Yeah. <sighs> Same one I shot after he wouldn't let me sink her. I was a stupid kid, Tommy. But grudge or no grudge, we gotta get those books back. Shake down all our stories. See who knows what. And when you catch up to Frank, you get those books. And if he doesn't have them on him, you make him tell you where to find them. After that, you do what we gotta do. Vincenzo's waiting for you with a clean car. That's crazy. There's no way Frank did it. It has to be a misunderstanding. He was probably framed or something. Tommy. What's up? Oh, you're just watching over him. <gasps> There's something right here. Comic book. Tough day today, Tom. We gotta keep a lid on this, Tom. Start with Biff. But don't give him nothing. I got you a clean set of wheels. And something special here. If you want it. Ho, 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 ho. Yeah, baby. When Frank sees a Lapara, he'll know. The old ways work. I didn't see this coming now from Frank. No one did, bud. But it's all lining up to be pretty fucked up situation. Well, let's go see if we can find him. He's obviously into hiding, so he's into something. I gotta wait till this cop passes. Oh, 
It's been what? We came here in 1933, I think. 1934. Now it's 1930 something. I don't know. It's been a couple years. Why is it so bright? I'm just going to leave it at default. God, look at him. He's so... Tommy, what's the rumpus? Not good news, buddy. Not good news. Heard any big news lately? Something that Don might want to know. Yeah, it depends. <laughs> What's it worth to you? 20 bucks. How about 40? All right, spill. The FBI's in town. They're getting something from Morello, but I, I don't know what. How'd you hear? Little Tony got some guy drunk in the Black Cat and drove him home. Heard a bunch of stuff, so he's the guy you want to see. Okay. Thanks. Always a pleasure, Tommy. I don't remember paying him, but you know, whatever. All right, let's go look. Let's go look for little Tony. Can you not? Like... Christ, man. Get some men over here! Collision in Chinatown. Officers required. I'm already out of Chinatown, so I'm fine. Oh, hush. All right, little Tony. Go back to patrols. We'll get him next time. Look out! This Thursday. Gotta find some place around here. Everything okay, Tom? No, there isn't. I need your comic book. Okay. Now we need to get to business. No, nah. no, nah, it's not. What's this about the guy you drove home who's with the feds? He came in for a drink, which turned into ten. He's hired muscle for some kind of safe house. Where? Oak Hill, corner of Pine. He gave me ten bucks to drive him back and keep my mouth shut. That on that Council of Gilates brokered some kind of deal between Morello and the FBI. They were all ready to sit tight on someone in there. Why the hell didn't you tell us? Tom, I did. I came in to see Frank straight away. He didn't tell the Don? No. No, he didn't. Tom, what's going on? Nothing you need to worry your pretty little head over. Who keeps sneaking into my car and turning my radio on? How dare he. Because I'm like slightly going uphill, why can't I reach speed? Okay, yeah, I was. 
going slightly uphill. Oh Christ. I'm going all the way up here. Oh, here we go. It's right here. Looks like the place. I guess those people don't care that I'm just parking right next to their house. Do Take this. me to those account books, Frank. And we return now to coverage what could be the final place. I'm just gonna stop back here, no big deal. Be some kind of meat happening, but where? Go ahead and cross. What the hell are you guys doing? I didn't mean to honk my horn. Ah, uh, shit. They've taken you to the airport, Frank. The airport?
Where is he going? I don't know. He's going to the airport. Christ. They're flying him out of state or something. Fuck. This ain't good. Is it not enough in the spot? Oh my god, I need to do another foot. Who are these people? The FBI? Guy just flashed a badge at me and forced me out. All right, time to turn into a ninja. Same thing. Can't say I'm happy. Shut down the airport. Informant and FBI escort leave the safe house. Exchange taken to Hangar 5. I heard there's some guy the feds are. Shush, 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 shush. Come on, we're gonna just put you over here. I it's heard there's some guy the feds are handing over before he's flown out. It's Get night night time. Just to stay right here. Bravo hasn't the honor to even show his face. For a rat like you? Nah. Get in the car. Morello gives us the books. Our accounting guys go through them with a fine tooth comb. Yeah, but no one's getting through here. These guys might be cool before we're done. That's why we'll round them up. Pin charges on them that we know won't stick, but keeps them in cells long enough for the scales to tip. This is gonna be some day in court. Tax evasion, money laundering, corruption, smuggling. So how am I going to do this? Can I just go through this house? Grenades is a little something. The way their families go down. Not with guns blazing. It's too late in tax records. It's the way they got Capone. And now is how Ennio Salieri dies in jail. It's a good day, my friend. FBI hand over Coleri. Morello makes him disappear in his plane. Then those account books bring Salieri to his knees. Once we've blown Coletti out, he's gonna feel real good handing those account books over to the Bureau. You think we can trust the feds? Oh, it's like right there. How the fuck do I get over there? I'm not leaving without that card. If I get seen and have to shoot my way there, I'll do it. The FBI hand over Coletti. Morello makes him disappear. <laughs> oh 
Let's just put you to sleep, buddy. Let's just put you to sleep. Come on. That's right. Come on, big boy. Let's just put you right here. Right in this corner. I'll go 99. I have over here to go real quick. Someone left. Their collectible card. 7 out of 22, god damn. What's the point of this? I thought I was gonna get on the roof or something. Tom. Frank. The Don sent me. I figured as much. I'm sorry it had to be you, Tommy. Anything you want me to tell him? I wish it could have shaken out better, but Morello finally came after me. It's okay. You can come out. Morello offered me a simple trade. The Don's account books for our lives and tickets out of this town. You hand the books over, yet? I'm not so stupid, Don. They're safe. Morello was waiting for this. It's a key to a box in the Grand Imperial Bank downtown. I told Morello I'd hand it over after the plane was fueled and ready to go. His men were meant to fetch it before we left. I took care of him. Told him to get on a plane. Go on, March. Alice, get aboard. Frank, you coming with us? Not right now, honey. Just get buckled in. Tommy and I, we have some serious business to discuss. But Frank... Get on the plane, March. For Alice. For me. Get on the goddamn plane. Please. been paid yet? Yeah. Now you've been paid twice. You take the ladies wherever they want to go. Yes, sir. Thank you, Tom. Christ, Frank. Why didn't you ask us for help? I guess I just wanted out. One way or the other. I'm tired, Tommy. Tired of lying to my wife. Tired of checking under my car every time I take a Sunday drive. And tired of waiting for the dawn to put two in my temple.
just like that, he's gone. But now what am I going to tell the Don? Alright, let's get the account books. Good afternoon, sir. Where's the safety deposit boxes? With my colleague downstairs, sir. Thanks. I'll be right there. Beautiful day, huh? Uh huh. Better than that rainy day, that's for sure. Keeping out of trouble, I hope. Wait. That's my comic book now, bitch. I need to access the deposit boxes for Frank Coletti. Ah, uh, yes. Mr. Angelo? Uh, yeah. Mr. Coletti said it might be you who came and to provide access. Please, follow me. That son of a bitch knew I was going to let him go. Or at least be the one that came for him. the books and covered my tracks. Salieri never asked any questions. In fact, apart from the funeral, I never heard him talk about Frank again. Making my boys twitchy, Marku. Sergio and I just came by to pay our respects, that's all. Known Frank a long time. Almost as long as you. He's a good man. Smart. Loyal. <laughs> Loyal to his wife. His kid above all else. There must be some kind of honor in that in you. Maybe. But I'm still looking at this headstone with his little girl's name on it. trouble I said I was mm, visiting rich people 1933 look at these houses big yards white picket fences it's the American dream eh Tommy I suppose not for you no sir I like being closer to the business. Don't let the flower beds and front porches fool you. There's more criminals out here than in the rest of the city combined. Are that why we're in the neighborhood? In a way. Merle's got a dirty prosecutor on his payroll named Watkins. Turns out he's old friends with Galati. The city councilor? The same. Merle let drop that we might have had something to do with the Galati boy's death. Now Watkins is loaded for bear, trying to do right by his buddy. Word is, he's striking gold with a few witnesses. You have names? Yeah. But Paulie and Sam are taking care of them. I'm putting you on a different part of the job. We need whatever Watkins has got on us. Well, where's he holding? A safe in his villa. 
I'm no safe cracker. <laughs> Don't worry about that. We're taking you to meet Salvatore. He's fresh off the boat, but he knows how to pop open anything. Just get him into the villa, find the safe, and he'll do the rest. What kind of rumpus should I expect? Nothing you can't handle. Watkins is going to the theater, so the house should be empty except for a bit of muscle. The office is on the first floor, and our stoolie says the safe is in the wall. Once Salvatore has the safe open, grab all the evidence and get out. Dead him, boss? Yeah, that's our guy. Salvatore, tutto bene? Si, grazie. Don Salieri. Good to see you. You know the job. Don't let me down. Si, o capisco. Tommy, if you bump into Watkins, don't kill him. It'll just bring down more heat. You got it, boss. Buona fortuna, ragazzi. Tommy. Tommy Angelo. Piacere di di conoscerti. Meraviglioso. <laughs> Pi favori. I wish I knew Italian. I assume that's Italian. All right. Well, that's all the time I have for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed this episode of Mafia. Stay tuned for the next episode.